Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this short video I'm going to be doing a run through of the Profitec Pro 600 espresso machine in bob. So here's a more close up view of the Pro 600. You can see the PID, the steam pressure gauge and the brew pressure gauge. So operating the PID is straightforward, you just press the plus and minus together. That'll give you T1 which is the brew boiler. And if you press a minus quick enough, it'll take you into T2, which is the steam boiler. So if you want to change the temperature of T1, you just go ahead and change it. It's 92 at the moment, which is what I normally have it set to. If you go into T2, you can change the steam. The max is 132, which as you can see, gives you just over two bar or bang on two bar of steam pressure at the moment. And then it'll just toggle back through the brew temp and the steam temp. There are other things you can do with the PID, but I'm not gonna go through it in this video because this is just a quick run through. In the review video, I mentioned adjusting the brew pressure and you've got a better view of that at this angle. So I'll show you, it's just there. Phillips screwdriver and you can adjust the brew pressure via this screw. So let's make a coffee, put some coffee in. Yeah, numpty. Where is it? Set the port filter. <laughs> cup. Where's the flipping cup? Pre infusion first. And then pull the shot. Looking good. So the steam boiler pressure is currently at just over two bar, and that's set at 132 degrees Celsius. It will show 133, 134, but it's set at 132. And this is with the uh, two hole steam tip. So the two hole steam tip will give you a little bit more time to master milk texturing, whereas a four hole tip releases the steam faster and the milk is stretched and heated up faster than it would be with the two hole steam tip. So you're probably best if you're not used to a lot of steam power, starting off with a two hole steam tip and then moving on to the four hole tip once you've really got this down. Purge the one first. And then we'll start steaming. I'm doing this from a bit of a weird angle so you can see, hopefully. So I might be messing up the texture. <laughs> that looks all right. Getting about there temperature wise. I sometimes use the thermometer, but most of the time I can tell about the fact that it's burning me. It's about 165 degrees is what I'm aiming for. So there we go, the run through on the Profitec Pro 600 that I should have done 
on the last video, but I forgot. And I better call that a day, seeing as I've drank about 17 flat whites in the past hour. But I might as well finish this one. If you like this video, click like. Even if you don't like this video, click like and subscribe so you'll see my other videos, whether you like them or not. Cheers. That is fucking awful. Fuck's sake. Need that fucking car alarm. Ooh. Nearly dropped the chuffing camera. If you see my last video, you will. If you see my last video, if you see my last video. Fuck's sake. Oh, look, the Kestrel.